Would it be like finally home? Would it be like never alone? Would it be like at the foot of his throne, knowing that the dark is forever gone? Would it be like finally home? What's good, y'all? It's your boy, just Robert, coming at you live. Just want to give you guys another quick little tutorial. This one's gonna be super quick. Um, was actually working on this song for a couple of my brothers in Christ, and I wanted to share this with you because it's something I ran into. And I think it's something that you're going to run into as well. I know that in previous videos, you guys have requested my delay settings. I actually have a video that I'll put right here right now that you can go check out for tips on that. I'll also share with you real quick what my delay settings are most of the time. Um, so you guys can go ahead and pause the video right here. I'm going to pull it up 2020. It may be in my other videos as well. You can pause the video right now, copy these down and put them in your uh presets as well and just save them but what I want to show you guys is, is this part right here this is what I was able to do um, and it's something that is is manually done something that you're not gonna be able to find on YouTube people telling you with tutorials tutorials are normally all about plugins what I like to do as an engineer which you can see even in this little spot that I have with bringing down uh, distortion and things like that I like doing everything manual so what I'm gonna show you guys is this artist wanted his words to be delayed only on the end okay he didn't want the whole track delayed. He just wanted in rhyming words delayed. So in order to do that, you know, you would have his track right here. You would right click. You would split it. Let's say this is the word he wants to have done. You would have to come up here, go to add track, add audio track, bring that up here. You would then have to bring it down to where he wanted it or here. You wouldn't even have to drag it like that. You could just um, drop it down with your arrows, bop, bop, okay, and you'd be able to then add effects to this which this is kind of all all over the place right now but it would be a blank track you'd have to take whatever effects you have on here and you'd have to put them on this track as well in order to get it to all sound the same so there's no variation between the sounds okay that's a lot of extra work just to get some uh, delay on this one part what I went ahead and did and I'll just show it to you guys real quick is I went ahead and took this whole this whole section right it will pan out this is his whole verse I took his whole verse I went like this and I duplicated track. Now what this does is it duplicates all the effects that you have on there, which is all your plugins, and it also duplicates the volume settings that you have. So whenever you make that duplication, it's able to have everything exactly the same, just just doubled, right? So now we can go like this, because you don't need the whole thing. You just need the, the part that you're wanting to have, um, <clears throat> have that delay effect on there instead of adding the plugin. Okay, so you just all you gotta do is duplicate it, zoom in. Sorry, I'm having a little issue trying to find the the spot. So. But if you're covering it, watch for, watch for, watch for. Okay, we'll mark it there. Sorry about that. So now that we have you know it duplicated and everything, what we're able to do is just highlight this, just like this. Right click, copy, bring it down to the spot that you have duplicated, like I did here, and you just paste it. Boom. Now what you can do is just move it manually to where you want it. So you're essentially creating your own delay. And I apologize if this video is a little little longer than I wanted it to be. I just wanted to share this with you real quick. So instead of having the plugin set, everything to where you have to have a certain plugin over here with your effects, you have to do a whole new track, da 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 da, a super long process. All you have to do is take where your verse is, right click, duplicate, boom duplicate my bad it'll come down here duplicate it you then just delete everything except for what you want delayed once you get what you want delayed like this is just the word hook that's all he wanted delayed was the word hook so i went back through and i listened to where the word hook was you better watch for the hook okay so hook was right here so i just went like that oh this still has that delay on there my bad that i showed you guys um so then i just copied it pasted it and put it right here now check it out when we play it back you'll hear the own your own manual delay that you've put the watch for the hook hook but if you so the hook hook you can even do uh if you want to go even even deeper with it i'll share this with you too you can duplicate that track you can bring it just you know a slight slightly over there and you can pan this like this we'll say uh 55 percent left and then this one 55 percent right and this is just cool little things you can do to just add more depth to your song. So now it's gonna now it's gonna bounce whenever he says hook. Watch for the hook, hook, hook but if you see, it's just cool little things like that that you can just do manually that you can create and, and be better at creating and be more creative. 
So I just want to share that with you guys. You guys go ahead and leave a comment with any other uh, tutorials you want me to do, any other tips, whether it be plugins or just things like this that I do myself that I think can really better your music. Please leave a comment, leave a like, a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to our channel, turn the notifications on so that when we make these uploads, you guys are able to tune in and be able to get everything right then and there. So I thank you guys for, for watching again. I apologize for making the video a little longer than it should have been, but I hope that you guys got something out of this. So we thank you and we just want to say God bless and keep creating.